Good morning to all. Today we have gathered here to celebrate the canonization of our patron saints, Saint Bartholomew Capitano and Vincenzo Gerusa. On this auspicious day, I would request our principal, Reverend Sister Malika, to lead us into prayer by saying a few words. Let us join our hands and close our eyes. Feel the presence of God within us and around us. Let us take few deep breaths. We are breathing. We are alive. That is the greatest gift God has given us. Gracious and loving God, every breath that we take tells us of your unconditional love. Thank you for this gift of life. Thank you for your care and protection during this pandemic. In the midst of struggles, you are telling us to have faith and trust in you. We believe, Lord, you have a plan for our good, which we are unable to comprehend. Help us to keep alive our faith. Lord, bless our dear ones with good health and happiness. Bless the sick with your soothing, healing touch. Comfort and console those who mourn the loss of their dear ones. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of St. Bartholomew Capitano and Vincenzo Gerosa, whose feast we celebrate today. They are our guide and leader. They responded to your call and dedicated their entire life to serve the most needy of their time. Grant us strength to follow their footsteps in the service of our brothers and sisters. May they ceaselessly intercede for those who follow in their footsteps to continue courageously to keep alive the loving service to humanity. Bless us and be with us, Lord. We ask this for your love's sake. Amen. The Institute of the Sisters of Charity of Saints Bartholomew Capitanio and Vincenza Gerosa, also known as the Sisters of Maria Bambina, had its origins in a house which the people called Conventino in Louvre, Italy. It was founded by a young woman of 26 named Bartholomia Capitanio in 1832. Bartholomia was helped in her project by Catherine Gerosa, a simple and wealthy lady of Louvre who later took the name of Sister Vincenza. They are familiarly called the Sisters of Maria Bambina because of the special privileges and blessings received from the Holy Child Mary from the year 1842. Bartholomew and Vincenza were both canonized by Pope Pius XII on 18th May in the year 1950. So every year this day, that is 18th May, is celebrated to remember their saintly life of dedication to God. Studied at the boarding school of the poor class, Bartholomew acquired a deep piety under the ever vigilant Mother Francesca Bilpani. I want to be a saint, a great saint, and a saint soon, were the words she uttered at the age of seven at the game of straws. She had a full trust in God, but her only fear was that of displeasing God, because God was her one and only God. Before taking anything in hand, she prayed with the childlike trust. From God alone, she asked for a good hope for her institute. Up of means don't go, because she said the undertaking is his. God will provide. Her spiritual director, Don Angelo Bosio, sensed the working of the spirit in her and guided her in her spiritual journey. He urged her to note down all the inspirations she received. This resulted in the inspired document we now call the foundation document which forms the basis of our present rule of life. She wrote, The institution which will be founded in Lovely is to be totally founded on charity and this must be its principal aim. Should have as its aim the education of poor young girls and devote itself to the relief of the sick. 
In this way, she outlined a mission which though starting as a personal response to the needs of her environment was deeply rooted in charity and as such destined to be kept up and to spread beyond the bounds of local. Let's praise and thank the Lord. Let's praise and thank the Lord. Let's praise and thank the Lord. Singing hymns to our mother, Bartholomew, and when sends out. Let's praise and thank the Lord. Let's praise and thank the Lord. Let's praise and thank the Lord. Look down from heaven, we pray to Thee. All is the children who. God and neighbor I love to prove Let's praise and thank the Lord Let's praise and thank the Lord Let's praise and thank the Lord Singing hymns to our mothers But the Lomia and wind sends us Let's praise and thank the Lord Let's praise and thank the Lord Let's praise and thank the Lord Saint Vincenzo Gerosa's holiness of life sought in various ways to show that in her. Hope was the essence of her life. She relied on the providential help of God. She invoked Him in every need, deeply convinced of her own poverty and limitations. Through this very trust in divine providence, she succeeded in facing each day with courage, in performing daring deeds of charity and in being ready for self-sacrifice to the very end. She used to say, we should not demand miracles from God, but be sure that if there is a need of it, our Lord will perform miracles too. St. Vincenza inspired others with deep trust in God's goodness, and she herself was intimately so convinced of it that one could see it in her manner when she said, let us have it to God. But she never neglected to do whatever she could, as if to say, on our part, we should do our utmost, but everything comes from God. She used to say, I can't do anything, but with God's help, everything will be done. In moments of adversities, she would continually pay short visits to the chapel. In undertaking new works and keeping them up, she would seek advice and pray much and then say, let us go ahead and our Lord will help us. On the morning of 21st November 1832, the most devout young woman, Caterina Gerosa and Bartolome Capitanio, made the offering of themselves and of their possessions to God and consecrated themselves entirely to the works of charity in the service of the poor in the manner that was pleasing to God. These two people alone, by love and sentiment, bound more closely together than the family ties, started the whole institute of the Sisters of Charity. Solo, Lord, I give in service to the youth, to the 
than blood consumed in love my care for them might prove the destitute the little ones they are so dear to you the images of you my lord reflecting you so true lord i love you give to me a heart in flame with charity to radiate your love through me The institute spread rapidly in many provinces of Italy. In 1860, Mother Teresa Bosio, the first superior general, answered the call of the missions of India and sent four sisters to work in Bengal, India. Thus began the missions of the sisters in India. Today, they are present in 20 countries in four continents. Everything sprang forth from that small seed in the beginning, sown with trust in the low free soil which had accepted to die in order to let the Lord to make it fruitful for the necessity of men and women of their and our time. Now, I would like to call upon our principal, Sister Malika, to enlighten us more about the works of our saints. Good morning respected teachers and my dear students Today we are celebrating the feast day of Saints Bartholomew Capitano and Vincenzo Girosa On 15th May 1950 they were declared as saints The driving force of Saints Bartholomew and Vincenzo was their love for God and neighbor They showed their concern for others not by fighting against contemporary cultural trends not against political movements but by focusing on love like our lord jesus christ they saw jesus in the poor who knocked at their doors and learned to love the unfortunate brethren as they bent lovingly on the little ones on the poor and on the most needy they could render present in their own time the charity of Jesus the only one that saves they faced every moment of life with simplicity and humility every event every joy and pain was always an opportunity to thank god bartholomew constantly lived in god's presence and saw the presence of god in every person She was certain that God never leaves her alone. He is the God of merciful love and providence. She dedicated her entire life to help others. Besides, she manifested to have great initiatives, even that of founding a house to assist the elderly, instruct children, teach catechism for children, take care of the sick, She even visited those in prison, went in search of the poor to love and serve them in the name of Jesus. The highest concern for her was God's will, trust in his love and charity towards her neighbor. May he do with us whatever is most pleasing to him. 
in all things let us seek nothing else except his glory his will and the greater good of our neighbor saint vincenza relied on the providential help of god and on this trust she succeeded in facing each day with courage in performing daring deeds of charity and in being ready for self sacrifice to the very end she was very good in inspiring others with hope she never looked discouraged her heart was always tranquil reposing in god the secret of happiness lies in doing always willingly what one has to do and to try to do it in the best way possible all can have a desire to be better persons by being more available and generous all of us in our little ways can become saints wish you happy feast of our saints bartolomeo and vincenza have a wonderful day god bless you and i would like to thank our principal teachers and all the students who put together this assembly i also pray to our patron saints that in this time of corona where each one of us are undergoing trials may they intercede us to the lord and may this difficult time be ended soon i pray that the lord will keep us each one of us safe and sound